My little doggy had to be euthanized on Tuesday, June the 6th, 2020. Um, he had cancer. He had got diagnosed a few years ago, and um, he held on several years till finally it got real bad, and I had to make that fatal decision to let him go, which just tore me up inside. Hope you enjoy my little memory montage of my little fur baby named Yorkie. Here I made him a lap pillow since he likes to sit in the lap. Or well, they call him a lap dog, so he has his own little lap pillow. <laughs> oh, he's resting comfortably. This is me trying to give him a haircut, a little trim. Yorkie was starting to lose his eyesight. He developed cataracts and eventually he went blind. But he still managed to find his way around the house. He doesn't look too happy here because he just had a bath. This is Yorkie with his little ball. He used to love, I guess that was his pacifier. He just loved his little hamburger ball. This is when he was not feeling well and he was getting worse here. I'm trying to comfort him here and at this point is when I was trying to make a decision as to what I should do and do what's best for him. But um, yeah, he was failing. He had lost a lot of weight. He had stopped eating. He wasn't having any bowel movements anymore. And the last time he did, it was pooping blood. So at that point, I knew I had to make a decision. It was the hardest thing I had to do. I am devastated at this point. I'm just trying to make him feel better. He had pus coming out of his eyes, out of his little pee pee. And at that point, I knew, even though I was in denial, I knew I had to do something because he probably was miserable and in pain, and I used to have to force feed him. I went to check on him in the morning, and I found him over in the corner shaking. And at this point, I had made my decision, and I called the vet. And I took him in here. He's at the vet right now. Only thing I could not stay in there. This is when I was trying to say goodbye to him. And this is my last memory of him. Mm -hmm. 